Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Target Focus Life. Pull. My name's Steve and today we're taking a look at the SKB90 TSS. Dedicated trap gun. So if you want to learn about this gun, we're diving deep. Are you ready? Let's go! As you guys can see, I got a brand new hoodie on. It's the Target Focus Life hoodie, one of them. We got a whole bunch of hoodies, whole bunch of new merch. Let me show you what else we got for merch. We got this one. We got this hoodie. We got this design in t-shirts and youth sizes. This one in a cool blue tee. Little Target Focus Life with the theme verse on there. This one's pretty basic. We got this in a hoodie. And last but not least, we got this cool one, I like that. All that plus a TFL hat. Link is in the description if you're interested. So we're down here at the beautiful ranges at Oakfield in Thomasville, Georgia. Very beautiful place, I highly recommend you visit. We're taking a look at the 90 TSS by SKB. This is a 12 gauge shotgun chambered in three inch. Now they say it's dedicated trap. I'm not 100% sure why it's dedicated trap. It doesn't have like a high post rib. It looks like you could use this shotgun for sporting as well, but since they say it's trap, we're gonna be using it out on the trap field, see how it shoots. This gun comes in at eight pounds, 14 ounces, so we're getting up there close to nine pounds. But the one thing that I like about this gun is the balance point. It's a little forward heavy. A lot of guns right here at the hinge is the balance point, but this balance point, as you can see, is a little further forward. I think it's gonna create a nice smooth swing. We'll definitely check that out. As far as length of pull, it is adjustable, as you can see, from 14 to 15 and a quarter inches on the adult version. What's cool about SKB is they think about everybody. This is a right-handed adult version. They also make a left-handed. They also make a youth or a compact model. And that will range from 13 inches to 14 and a quarter inches length of pull. A lot of adjustability in these, which is one of the things I absolutely love. You also have drop at comb, drop at heel. That is also adjustable. It's got a parallel comb, but it doesn't have to be parallel, right? Because you can modify the drop of this comb. These are not high dollar guns. You're not paying for super fancy engraving, super fancy wood. You are paying for a solid shotgun that you can go out and shoot traps, skeet, sporting clays. They make a lot of sporting shotguns with great adjustability. The 90 TSS has an MSRP of just over $2,000, $2,049. Of course, that's MSRP. I got it from my favorite sporting good retailer for less than that. And so far, just a few shots in, I've really been enjoying this gun. This is a 32 inch barrel, I believe. I think it's also available in a 30 inch option. It does come with three choke tubes, mod, improved mod, and full. I don't even know what we got in there right at the moment, but I can tell you whatever it is, I'm crushing clays with it. And hopefully that stands true when I get to the test round of trap. One of the things we also wanna look at with specs is the trigger. Now this does have a mechanical trigger in it, which is pretty crazy for a $2,000 shotgun. Usually only find mechanical, a little more expensive options. Let's just mount it up. It's a little heavier than anticipated. Let's throw a scale on this. My guess is just over seven pounds. Yeah, seven pounds, three ounces on that one. Seven pounds, nine ounces. The trigger didn't feel bad. Like it felt pretty good. I could just tell it was a little heavier than maybe I would like. Okay, six pounds, 11 ounces. I had a little different angle of pull on that. Let's try it again. Six pounds, 12 ounces. So we're right around that seven pound mark. I would like that to be a little bit lighter, but that's only one of the factors we're gonna look at with this gun. Moving on from specs, we're looking at ergonomics. This is the feel the function of the gun. I can just tell it's a heavy gun, which I'm okay with. If I'm shooting trap, I'd rather have a heavier gun than a lighter gun, as long as the balance is well. Like I mentioned, balance is forward on this one, creates a lot of weight in that forward hand, but it also creates smooth hands. I shot a gun in a review not too long ago. The balance was actually rearward, and it was a really whippy gun. I was trying to shoot trap. I swung over a lot of the targets, had a lot of trouble with it. As far as feeling the hands, this is a right-handed model, so it has a right palm swell. Like I mentioned, they do have a left-handed model would have a left palm swell four end nothing fancy about it nice checkering it's pretty simple but it allows me to point my finger like i like to i get my thumb up here and point my finger here try to get in line with those barrels so i have made several adjustments on this shotgun you can increase 
the height of the comb. That's really easy to do by removing these two screws or just loosening them, pulling this off. Once you find your height, you put washers in there so you always get back. If you take this apart, you always get back to that same spot. But what's super cool is you can also change the cast. So I got a narrow face. I don't need as much cast. This already has cast off, meaning it's going away from my face. So I actually adjusted the comb to come back towards my face a little bit. Otherwise my dominant eye, my right eye was too far to the right, right? That's what we're trying to do with this adjustment is get our eye looking right where the gun's pointed. You can also adjust the butt plate. Now this butt plate can move up or down. As you can see, I have it down. So it fits nicely into the pocket of my shoulder. And then you can also cant it. You can cant it so it fits perfectly in the pocket of your shoulder. You can also adjust length of pull an inch and a half of length adjustment. So I got this gun pretty close. It's maybe not perfect, but I got it set up pretty close. Uh, I'm really happy with the ergonomics of this gun. The way everything comes together has a brass mid bead, an ivory front bead, which I'm completely happy with. Nothing drives me more crazy than people that make dedicated trap guns and then they think, well, let's just put a bigger fiber on. Since this is dedicated, a bigger fiber. Get rid of the fibers. They are distracting. It's nice to have these beads to double check, make sure you are right where you need to be, but then you need to get your eyes out beyond the trap, ignore the bead, call pull, and I just find fibers bring, wanna bring my eyes back to the bead. Nothing fancy as far as engraving, uh, very light laser engraving, I would say. You're not buying it for high grade wood, fancy engraving, you're buying it because it is a solid gun with a ton of adjustability. So that's about all I need to say about ergonomics on this gun. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Let's take a look at recoil and reliability. Now, when you're shooting a trap gun, hopefully the weight means less recoil. We're shooting ounce and an eighth. Let's just, uh, let's pull one here. Pull. By the way, it does have ejectors as you can see. Pull. Oh yeah, feels really good. I have no issues with recoil, reliability. Not a lot to say about that on over under. Are the ejectors gonna work? And as far as I know, they will. But hey, like always, if you have the 90 TSS, if you have experience with this gun in the field shooting thousands of rounds, put your experience below. Because when you share, we all get better. We can all perceive recoil a little bit differently based on how a shotgun fits us. So I shoot a gun, say it's got a lot of recoil, it might fit you perfectly, you don't perceive that recoil. One nice thing about an adjustable gun is you should get it to be able to fit you perfectly. If it fits you perfectly, the recoil should be coming back into your shoulder. Now a design of guns and all that stuff can have an impact on that, but I love that it's adjustable because if a gun doesn't fit you well, it's not fun to shoot. You're not going to be as good with it. And that shouldn't be an issue with the 90 TSS. Let's take a look at the quality of build of this shotgun. It's an SKB. They've been around for a long time. Not a whole lot to look at. Great steel receiver. This gun's going to last you a long time. The locking lug runs the full length of the block. Quality of build is good. We'll just call it good. You can get really picky on over under how everything comes together, the craftsmanship, the lines, all that stuff. We're not really looking at that on this type of gun. This is just a solid gun, no frills, a ton of adjustability. That's, that's the huge thing with this shotgun. But enough talking, let's do some shooting. I'm gonna take this gun, run it through a full round of trap, 25, five at each post. Don't worry, we won't bore you with the whole thing. I'll come back with my final thoughts, final feedback, and let you know what I think of this shotgun. Oh, it's feeling really good. Four to five on that first post. Every time you get a new gun out though, it's, there's a little adjustment period. I didn't expect to shoot a 25, but feeling good. Oh, same deal on post two, missed one. I'm getting into the groove, I'm feeling it though. We'll end strong. Oh. For five, I told you we'd heat up. Just toast. Here we go, another five out of five. Let's finish strong. Pull. It's three in a row. Three of those hard rights. They keep serving them up. I keep knocking them down. There it is. What I missed? Two? 
Shot a 23. I missed one on each of the first two posts. Took me a little while to get into the rhythm, but I gotta say, recoil, super manageable, smooth swinging shotgun. Very, I very much like the weight forward and how that just led me to have a smooth swing. A few misses. They were my, my fault, of course. Whose else's fault would they be? But I am really liking this shotgun. Uh, just really happy with it. Great performer. I'm really curious on what it'd be like shooting some skeet. Pull. Well, you can use it for a skeet gun as well. It went decently well. I think if you're shooting trap and skeet, like trap you start pre-mounted. Skeet, I don't start pre-mounted. Your setup's a little bit different in the stock, so I was mismounting quite a bit, but definitely possible to be a skeet gun, sporting clay gun, trap gun. I would use it for all three. Like I said, only challenge is the way you're gonna set up your stock for trap is different than skeet and sporting clays probably. And my chokes were way too tight for skeet, but nonetheless, I'm extremely pleased with the 90 TSS. Shot a 23 in trap. I think next time out, I could probably shoot a 25, then my first 100 straight, then a thousand, probably not. Anyways, I'm not a dedicated trap shooter, just so you know. Yeah, I may own a trap shooting range, but I'm not a dedicated trap shooter yet. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna get good. Uh, just extremely pleased. Well-built gun, nothing fancy about it. A lot of adjustability, solid gun. I would recommend it to anyone looking to get into trap shooting or sporting disciplines that doesn't wanna spend three, four, five thousand $5,000. Great price point gun with all the function that you need. It's a 90 TSS. Remember guys, whether you're in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots that you're laser focused on, so live target focused. See ya.